going on Capricorn and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so let's jump into your March mid month reading so this is going to be from March 15th to the 31st and this will be for Sun Moon rising and Venus Capricorn signs now keep in mind guys I say this every time but the energies could be transferable it could be something that I'm picking up about you or it could be about somebody around you or an environment around you okay all right, so what is going on? Page of Wands came out. Okay, so maybe some sort of offer comes in, something that's you're very passionate about, whether it's business, whether it's love. All right. This deck I'm using, guys, is the Wild Unknown Tarot. So what is going on for my Capricorns? So we have the Four of Cups in the reverse, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Five of Cups, okay? So the energy here is the Strength card in the reverse, okay? We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse and Seven of Swords in the reverse. So there's someone here who's debilitated by some sort of secret that had been revealed. Now, I feel like with whatever secret this is, it's... With a situation that's kind of past you, it's behind you, you've been through it already, but it's like you realize something and maybe it's just like, oh shit, and you know, it's something that may be out of your life, but you're you're hearing about something that's associated with something maybe you cared about. Um, now, there is some sort of offer that you accept or that you put out and someone accepts from you, but it's not without reservation. And there's reservation because there's a loss that's felt, okay? Um, all right, let's see why this is here. Interesting. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. And the Tower card, okay? So there's something that has caused you a loss and it's something that you feel like you heavily needed to protect yourself from, okay? And whatever this is, it's like you accept the fact that it needs to be let go of or someone accepts the fact that it needs to be let go of. And although there could be some sort of disappointment associated to that, um, Someone is just really ready to kind of just change their lives. They're ready to take a path where they know there's not going to be any sort of worry or anxiety. We got the hanged man. Seven of swords. And we have the ace of cups. So you guys are being very guarded towards something for sure. But you're making a decision to make a huge change in your life. And this does lead to a lot of um, good emotions where you feel very emotionally fulfilled. But there's just something that a person did not realize about a situation. It's like you're realizing you didn't have all the facts on something. And it's revealed to you those facts that maybe you didn't have. Okay, so it's just like you might feel down about it or maybe someone around you feels down about it, but it pushes you to take a new path. Okay. All right. Let's use another deck here, guys. This is Mystic Monday Tarot. Okay. So what is going on with this? We have the Page of Cups, Princess of Cups in this case, Seven of 
Seven of Swords, the Magician, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. For some of you, I feel like for some of you, there's going to be some sort of secret offer that comes in. Okay. Um, and this is something that might cause a person to look manipulative. Okay. But maybe it helps you to get over something. Or maybe you choose not to go for it, okay? Because there is something on the table that is there for you. But I feel like for a lot of you, you wouldn't even genuinely be interested in this. So I feel like it's something that isn't successful here with the Six of Wands in the reverse. We have the Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Page of Wands in the reverse, Two of Swords in the reverse, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Yeah, you guys, you guys are tempted with something. Um, it's like you're in a place where um, you're offered something, but this something could bring conflict. You decide not to go towards it and you decide to stand your ground. Um, and with you turning your back, there is a lot of expansion that happens in your life with you turning your back on this. Okay. But it might be something that is hard for you to say no to. Because the offer comes wrapped up very nicely. But I don't see you guys going for it because, you know, deep down inside, you know, that's not the best path for you to take. Yeah. And that your soul is against it and you might lose something that you have that you really desire. Or you might lose a chance at something that you do really desire. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands in the reverse, and King of Pentacles. So there is this newfound focus that you guys have where it's just like, it's you basically have the mentality of, I'm going to do everything I need to do to get from point A to point B in my life. And anything that has the potential to derail me, I'm going to cut that out. Okay, this is someone who's very, very focused and they're about their shit. And because of that, you're able to release so much burden and there's so much happiness and you guys are feeling very good. With this Queen of Pentacles, this could be you, Capricorn, or this could be another Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in your life. But there is a lot of happiness in you releasing something that could be burning. Okay. I'm going to pull with another deck. This is Grand Lux Tarot. Let's continue to see the energy. I usually just do advice at this point, but I want to do another full spread for you guys. Ace of Coins, Ten of Cups in the reverse, Three of Swords in the reverse. There's a lot of energy here, guys, because you're really onto something that is really going to be sustainable. It could be long term. Um, it's something that can really be there for a while. But at the same time, there's a sense of unhappiness that you're still dealing with, although there's healing that's coming in with it, but it's still there. There's still some sort of disappointment that's being felt um, because there's something here that you haven't 100% let go of. And maybe this is a person who's not communicating with you. Maybe you're not communicating with the person. But guys, with the Page of Wands in the reverse, regardless of who or what this is, with this energy, this is kind of like shit talking. This is someone that... Um, they talk a good talk, but there's just a lot of rumors that they might say, or it could be someone who's just always trying to poke at things and just trying to, um, you know, really add fuel to a fire. Okay. You guys choose not to go towards something. And I feel like it's you, the Capricorn that chooses not to go through something, but you're not happy about it at the same time. You know, it's something that may have been karmic. And again, it shows a lot of success comes in with you letting this go. Okay. But it's like, 
you, it's hard for you to let go. Okay. And there's a lot of reservation here and it's something that mentally you're stuck on, but you're strong enough to decide against it. You have the Hierophant, wow. The Six of Swords. Yeah, so it's you being unhappy about what you have to walk away from. Nine of Wands in the reverse. So whatever it is you guys are healing from or whatever disappointment there was, you're choosing to fully let that go because there's something new here that's very passionate. The problem is Capricorn, you're just in your heads a lot. I think that's going to be the biggest enemy here, your thoughts, your mind process, okay? Um, with the Five of Cups in the reverse, wow, you guys have the Five of Cups in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So if you felt alone, you're not going to feel that way anymore. If you felt broke, you're not going to feel that way anymore. If you felt rejected, left out in the cold, anything like that, you're not feeling that. If you felt lost, if you felt sadness, if you felt empty, something pours into you, okay? Um, and there's just so much passion behind what this is, and there's a strong sense of um, being able to be honest with whoever this is in your life now or being able to just be honest about what it is you want in life now. But there is something that comes in that could compromise a situation that's very stable and good for you. But it's like, I feel like you guys really become protective over it, even though it's hard. I feel like it's hard to say no. All right. Now, what made me smile earlier is that I told you guys you have something new coming in. For a lot of you, this is your life path. This is a destiny move for you. If this is love, guys, I wouldn't doubt that this goes to marriage if that's something that you want. I know that's a social construct, but this is this is your person. This is someone who's meant to be in your life. This is someone that you're meant to, you know, you're in the long haul together. This is strong, all right? Um, and with this Hierophant energy, guys, the best way that I can describe it is... A light worker, okay? Someone who can take the time to tap into the 5D and understand the spiritual world and all of that and, and be awakened in that way. And then they can take that higher power and translate what that higher power is showing them and teach it to those who might not be spiritually tapped in. So this is huge because... You guys are on a path where there's that connection from, you know, from yourself to like that 5D. So this is a very strong spiritual experience that's in your life right now. But I feel like there's a lot of 3D experiences that could be holding you back. So what you guys are on to, it's not just something that's going to be there long term. It's different from other things because it's it's profoundly spiritual for you you have a profoundly spiritual connection to this so this is it's just it's very strong okay it's very very strong and when you guys start tapping into things where you're gonna have a lot of spiritual connection that's when you have to start oh well, that's when a lot of lessons from the 3d can come in okay where it's just like, are you ready for this next level or are you going to keep making the same mistakes? Because for you guys to enjoy the spiritual experience that's coming in for you, you have to be willing to walk away from something, from some sort of fallout. Okay? And once you walk away from whatever fallout this is, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? But some of you are not ready to 100% let go of the past. But... With this Knight of Cups, uh, the Knight of Coins, excuse me, with this energy here, guys, the Knight of Coins isn't always the fastest person, but it's the person who gets through things. I feel like they make the least mistakes because they take their time. They want to make sure every step makes sense before taking that step. So it, they do their due, di uh, their due diligence. They don't always run for something, but they get to it and they get to it in a healthy way, Okay. So guys, this is going to be you, the emperor, all right? The emperor is going to be a person that makes the correct decision, all right? This isn't always going to be the easiest decision, but it's going to be the decision for the greater good, okay? So that past is going to come back in in some way, shape, or form, or something here just tempts you 
Um, and again, I don't feel like you guys have closed this out 100% or maybe you're emotionally tied to it in some way, shape or form. But all it brings you is the wheel of fortune in reverse. It makes your life spiral out of control when you have something here that the universe literally gave you. Okay. This is a huge gift and I don't want you guys to take this lightly because this is not energy that you come by every day. This is what people spend their whole lives looking for. And you have it right there. So you could spend your whole you could spend another lifetime if you want looking for it or, you know, or you can just embrace it as it is right now. So give this thing a chance, guys, because it, it's very promising for you. Okay, Capricorn. Wow. That's powerful. Okay, guys. Uh, so follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44. I'm also on Twitter, Bruja Shit. And if you guys would like a personal reading, there are multiple ways to get it. Just check my description below. Um, I've hired someone to kind of go through my emails and all of that just to ease it up because I was just always so behind. I'd have hundreds coming in a week. So everything is going to be answered in the order it comes in. I've been getting things out, guys. I've been working. So I will be here if you guys need me. Take care.